Tim, Bob, if you would. Uh, one ordinance tonight, an ordinance of the municipality of Monroeville, Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, adopting proposed amendments to the Home Rule Charter and authorizing the submission of such amendments to the Allegheny County Department of Elections for placement on the ballot of the November 7, 2017 general election and subsequent elections as determined by the Department of Elections. And this matter is currently on the table, so to the extent the Council wants to act on it tonight, you're first going to have to make a motion to take it off the table. Motion to take it off the table. Second. Second. Roll call, Sharon, please. Mr. Wilson. Aye. Mr. Duncan. Aye. Mr. Clary. Aye. Mr. John. Aye. Mr. Harvey. Aye. Dr. Greesar. Aye. Mr. Skatos. Aye. Righty, and now we'll move over to reports. Of well, hold on, hold on. You've taken it off the table now. Uh, what's your what's council's pleasure with respect to acting on the ordinance? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I can follow up with uh, Councilman Greesock mentioned uh, last month uh, mostly about choosing uh, certain uh, articles within the Home Rule Charter that we would submit uh, to the uh, Bureau of Elections, uh, Allegheny County Bureau of Elections, and Mr. Ratcher and I have discussed. And I'm offering to Council uh, to put those items of which is going to be Article um, 7 through 10, which would be you said six. Uh, I, I, I should say uh, 7, I'm sorry, 6, I was mistaken on, because that takes in the mayor, uh, which is an elected, uh, which is an elected uh, position, obviously. And this would have to do with personnel matters within this group, which would be Article 7, Municipal Manager, Article 8, Municipal Attorney, Article 9, Administrative Units, and Article 10, the Police. Um, and after doing some investigation, uh, the way we would hand, uh, hand this into the Bureau of Elections is basically the way you see it on your revisions, and the Bureau of Elections would basically be the ones to word it. Now, those are um, a decent amount of items, I would think, handing of the Bureau of Elections, so whether they get them all in a referendum for the fall, we don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. But the, uh, the motion would be Articles 7, 8, 9, and 10 to submit to the Bureau of Elections, the revisions. Bob, any comment? Well, yeah, th that's, that's fine. That may, in fact, be too much. They, the, the Bureau of Elections, in formulating the questions, might not be able to get all of these on this time, which means that then Obviously, what doesn't get on this time would be first up next time, and then we'd follow through with the rest of the um, uh, the rest of the items of the amendments that have been made, so that eventually everything gets onto the ballot in subsequent elections. This kind of cleans up, though, some of the wording as far as employment qualifications. Right. This is, but it it, it kind of cleans that whole area up in one swipe if they let us. Correct. Okay, so the, we want to try and put that whole thing at one time if we can. As much of it as we can. And that's what we're trying to do now. Yes. And as, as council can know, I mean, this is going to take a while. Correct. This is going to take a while to do um, because there's a lot of different items that have been revised. And no, this, it, it this is going to take it, years it, to do. But this seems more important than yeah. some of the legal ease only because it, some of it's all <coughs> than the legal ease. This seems more important because some of that's already mandated and we can't. Correct. Do anything Correct. about it. So Correct. this seems to be a good first step. Yes. Well, I, I will make a motion to approve to have Article uh, 7. Hold on, hold right? on. I have some questions. Second. Well, I have a question. Then we have to Sorry. do a motion and well, second. Well, you can still get a motion and a second. second. You're questioned. Yeah. To My approve. question is, approve. where is our super majority going to be on this ballot? There is no super majority provision. That was not recommended by the, uh, by the Home Rule Charter Committee. It was discussed and debated, but it was not recommended. That doesn't mean we can't put it on. No, you you have the right to change it if you. That would be our. I I would think that would be our first priority. The the little changes that uh, they recommended with uh, some of the wording that can always go on, but the supermajority needs to be on there for <coughs> the general election. When you say supermajority, Tom, clarify supermajority regarding what? Voting. Supermajority would say to, uh, with the Home Rule Charter, would say that you need five votes to, uh, I don't want to say it like this, but get rid of Mr. 
What's your name? Little. <laughs> so supermajority to give anybody any well, wait ideas, Tom. Wait a minute. Stipulation of, of the supermajority to fire position. or terminate the manager is what you're saying. Well, it would be to terminate the manager. Now, the manager has the responsibility and the power to terminate anybody below him. With okay? the advice so, of the Senate Congress. So if there's a right. four, if there's a four, three vote, or a three four vote or whatever it is. My point is that that supermajority needs to be there before we do anything else. I didn't know there was any discussion on that, but I don't know the the Homo You're saying no, Linda. Why? I, I could, because I think we have to have further discussion on it before we put it out there. What do you mean? We have to put it out there? Well, no, we don't have to put it out there yet. Well, we have to put it out there for the uh, the general election. It's not going to. It's not going to go on there. It's only going to be on the ballot in November, so it wouldn't even come into play until next year. Well, if we put it, if we vote on it, it, it could be on the ballot in November. But what Mr. Ratcher is already telling us is Article Seven through Ten may already be too much, and we're trying to do it as a group. Well, I think. Well, the first priority. Excuse me, Bob. Sure. The first priority should be the super majority. I but because I think right now don't feel. I don't want to go through what happened with the last. Council, and it could have been avoided if the supermajority was in there. But I it was a it was a nightmare for this community and for some of the folks on council. But you should have learned your lesson then. You, Nick. You, Steve, and JJ. You should have learned your lesson then. Now, if you don't think that the supermajority is important. Then we, we can go back to whatever happened in the last council, but as far as far as I'm concerned, if you don't support that, then I don't support anything else on the Home Rule Charter. But doesn't the wording in the article? The wording is nothing. Hold on. Doesn't the, the wording, wording is nothing? The wording in Article Seven through Ten does that not then help fix the problems that occurred before? What are the problems? The education requirements and all of that would be taken care okay, of. Okay, so it let's, not let's say we do we do three. You do supermajority, educational requirements, and whatever other one you want to do. But the supermajority needs to be on the November ballot. Bottom line. Okay, but Tom, that's your opinion, and I hear that's you. my opinion. But you saw what you saw what happened. I, okay, but in the past. Okay, but you're one vote. I don't know if we have a majority that agrees with. Well, you. I want some support here. Well, we're. I'm asking for some support, Nick, especially you, Stevie. I'm right here. Come back. We need to support the supermajority. Bottom line. Okay. Before anything else. Well, we can talk about that yeah. more, or we can. You guys want to vote on it now? I'll well, I, it I think, no, Tom. I think your your point is well taken. I think we all know where you stand on it. Um, just to clarify, what just for the listening audience, the these recommendations by the Home Rule Charter, the ad hoc review board, they had numerous meetings and they presented a document to us. That's on our website currently, and we're talking about Article Seven through. What is Article Seven? Municipal manager, and I'll, 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 re, I'll get everybody up to speed with everything because I have it in front of me here. So, Article 7 is municipal manager, uh, 8 is the municipal attorney, 9 is administrative units, and then 10 is police. Police. That's police. Though. Police. Um, and this is all on our website, and the pages we're talking about on the ad hoc review board document is pages 7, nine, seven 8, 9. Well, let's read the ones you're considering. Sure. So, municipal manager, what they have struck out was is that, uh, well, council shall by ordinance, and I'll paraphrase some of it just to not, you know, bore everybody, shall by ordinance appoint a municipal manager. What was there before, and now we struck out, was for an indefinite term and shall fix the compensation. So they struck that and they updated some of the uh, legal the legal language we talked about earlier that the state has put in. Um, and one of the probably the biggest points that, that we talked about with some of the things that the community went through the last time that they did change that was the manager uh, shall be appointed solely on the basis of executive and administrative qualifications and shall have had at least 
five years before it was three years. Now it's five years experience. This is one of the problems we had before. The experience was in government administration and that has been struck. So now it is five years as a manager or assistant manager or a combination thereof of a similar size and composed municipality. The manager shall have a bachelor's degree, a master's degree is preferred in public or business administration or related field from an accredited college or university and these pre prerequisites shall not be waived. So that was one of the issues that we kind of ran into. I support that, Nick. I, oh, I and, that exa and, I do, and I do as well. Mm -hmm. And to your point about a supermajority. Um, I think this eliminates the need. That eliminates the need. It eliminates what? The need for a super vote because that basically says the secretary can't come and sit there. We couldn't experience the nightmare that we've experienced a few years ago with if this was this were if this wording and these four you know, items was important. not there. And also, too, perhaps if we can get this in the on the ballot, get it voted for, get it rolling, perhaps then is when we look at re <coughs> trying out the supermajority. Because I think we might get into the point where we may be adding too many things. I think we've already seven through ten. I think we're actually. Asking for a lot. Okay, well, that, that's just the one. No, read the others to me, please. There, there's a little bit. It goes on to the next section in there. It's still under Article Seven. This next section was the acting municipal manager. Um, this is another issue we kind of ran into uh, our history here. Uh, one of the changes they made was the appointed acting manager shall possess at least three years of governmental, business, administrative, and supervisory experience, and a minimum of a bachelor's degree from an accredited college or university and these prerequisites shall not be waived. So that's just for an, the actual acting manager, a temporary manager like we've had um, in the past. Um, and then uh, then it moves on to Section 8 is municipal attorney um, and it basically just cleans up the language whereas before in the Home Rule Charter they said that the attorney is a, considered an employee of the municipality which I don't think that's ever been the case. I think we've always used independent contractors or, or subcontractors. Um, just how Mr. Mr. Ratcher is currently. How, how is Mr. it Dice. today? Currently, how is it today? Well, currently it says that the the municipal attorney is an employee of the municipality. Currently, yes. Okay. And so that, they're changing. And, and it to what, say. what Nick's saying is that's never been the case. Right. So they're leaving it as an option. They the the it could be. It says the new changes being an employee of the municipality, or retained on an independent contractor basis at the discretion of the municipality and that's something we've we've been doing for decades. Well, let me ask you this then. Let's let's say that uh, it's at some point Mr. Ratcher uh, is decided that it's time for Mr. Ratcher to leave. Okay? And uh, if you have the supermajority then you need five votes uh, the manager in order to no, the manager hires and fires the. Um, yeah. yeah, but with yeah. advice and consent of council. Right. right, right. Yeah, but it wouldn't take. We had supermajority. No, no, no. uh, Tom, yeah. I, I, I would. On that. I'm sorry. I would say that the supermajority, to the extent that it's considered, should be considered for the municipal manager. It should not be considered for the municipal solicitor. No, I understand it. No, I, well, what, I understand. I think what Tom's part. getting at is that. Pardon me. Well, I think I believe, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I believe what what you're getting at is is that. If you have a supermajority for the manager, whoever he or she is down the road, right. then therefore any decision that the, the manager, he or she, makes, essentially, you, need, you would need five people to steer the manager. Five votes. Five votes. Right. Whereas now it's now, four. And, and so some, that would trickle, that, that supermajority would actually trickle right. down. On the other the side, position. though, somebody said that, well, what if the, the manager wasn't uh, effective in his position? <laughs> Okay. Now, I believe that you'll get seven votes at that point. You won't just get, you won't have an issue with, with five votes. If, if, the, if the person that we decide that is not doing their job, you're going to get seven votes or six votes. <coughs> but you're still, you're still going to get rid of that person. But if the, ma no, if the person's doing their job, and uh, somebody stacks the deck like they did before, and the five, the five, uh, two, would be the supermajority would save that person from being uh, replaced. Okay, J just to help things along here, because we could probably go on this for hours. Thank you. 
I would like if council, um, I'll start off with you, Linda. Are you in favor <coughs> of a five majority uh, for the manager position? And we'll go right down the line. Well, do oh. that or do we do it as he does a motion that he wants that and we vote? What well, uh, well, you can do it that way. Let me just say one thing before we get into this discussion. This is uh, this is about scheduling. We have to have this into the county at the latest on August 8th, which means we probably should have it in there before August 8th in case the county looks at it and says, hey, guys, you did something wrong here. Give us a few days then to correct do, it. Then why don't we do this? Tom, you want to make a motion on the floor for the five? Hold on. We already vote. made a motion to approve Article mm -hmm. 7 to 10 being put on, and right it was seconded. Why don't we... Uh, oh, did we do that? <coughs> yes. I made okay. motion well, then, Duncan all right. seconded it. Well, sure. then let's go roll call then. Mm. That was before the... Uh, mm. Okay, so it's roll call as it is... Seven to ten, correct. Okay. To leave it as it is. Right. Correct. Mrs. Gatos? Aye. Dr. Greesar? Aye. Do. Mr. Harvey? Aye. Mr. Johns? Aye. Mr. Clary? Aye. Mr. Duncan? Aye. Mr. Wilson? No. Okay. Tom, do you want to make a motion? I'd like to make a motion that we include the supermajority into the, for the November election in order to prevent manager position for the manager's position in order to prevent what happened uh, five or six years five years ago okay there's a motion is there a second make a, I'll make a second so we can vote on it okay. I'm really confused Roll call and, and, and discuss it and, is, and is discuss it you're not the well, my only comment is that nor, I, this. in the beginning of all this I was 100 percent behind Tom's idea but I think the Home Rule Charter Committee put him enough provisions in here that I don't believe we need a supermajority. I think, you know, there's enough conditions that uh, they're not going to be able to appoint just any Tom, Dick, and Harry as manager like they did last time. Any other comments, Council? I think, I mean, I. I I think the, the Homeless Charter Committee has definitely done their homework, and I think they presented a good document. <laughs> and just so everybody knows, I mean, we just want to get this down to the county. Once we get back from the county, what they approve or, 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 or otherwise, we'll be discussing this at length. Everyone will know exactly what they're going to be voting on in November. Um, so there, there's definitely, we'll be having more of this discussion. But we really need to, as uh, Mr. Ratcher's point, get this down to the county so we can actually get some things on the ballot. They may come back and they may say, we'll only do Article 7. That's all we can fit. Or or, or less. I'm, I'm not sure exactly. And it, once it goes to the county, well, we talk about these referendum me, questions. It's, it's up to the county. When you say we, we need to discuss it more, if if it's voted upon tonight... No, no I mean, it's, well, discuss more for the voters because it's going to be a voter referendum. We have a so what you're saying is seven through ten would be discussed more in order to educate the voters. Actually, no. Once the county gets back to us, what they well, are whatever, committing whatever to put on they're the ballot, put on the ballot, we will right. be fully discussing that and making sure the residents know exactly what the county has allowed us to put on the ballot, right. and okay. and we'll make sure that that's disseminated properly. Any other questions or comments, Council? Roll call, Sharon, please. Make sure you know so, everybody knows what they're voting. You know what you're voting on. You're voting on the five majority for the Thank manager. You. Roll call, Sharon, please. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Mr. Duncan? Yes. Mr. Clary? Yes. Mr. Johns? Sure. Mr. Harvey? No. I was, I'm not even 100% sure what that I did. I'm sorry. I didn't. You say no? I apologize. I didn't know. Dr. Greesock? No. Mrs. Gatos? No. Motion carries. So, yeah, what, so what do we do is my question. Like, how well, do no, I think as a practical matter, we're going to have to post haste here, draft yeah, change the, wording. the appropriate wording and get that on and make it the first thing. And then Article 7 will be the second thing. And so we'll tell the county, okay, the supermajority issue is the first thing on the we, we would like to get on. The second thing we'd like to get on is Article 7 and then so on down the line. And then they'll get as much of it on as they get on. Mr. Ratcher, yes. just, just one point that I'd like to make. Can't we do seven times um, and then that last? We do have the supermajority now. Yes. Okay, it's been accepted. I thought but the other point, excuse me, Paul. The other point would be um, 
what um, I'm, I'm not sure if I remember the number correct number seven right seven is the regarding the municipal manager right right I think that's very important as well okay, that's so, all that's the so if we can get vote. two those two need to be on if we can yeah. get three you choose uh, nine or nine or ten whichever is the most important of those two yeah, the original priority was going to be seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the supermajority provision first. Seven, well, then eight, now then Mr. nine, then Mr. Mr. Ratcher, wouldn't let me interject real quick, Mr. Clary. Yes. I misunderstood. Can I change my vote? Yes. No. Hey, you change your vote. You can uh, submit. A, you can uh, propose a motion. I was motion. confused. Look, I I, admit, I was a little confused. On that, what, 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 if he wants to do that, Bob, what's the, what's the procedure? Well, I think he's going to have to propose a motion. What? That I was stupid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll agree. <laughs> that, that doesn't need any affirmation, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we already knew that. Yeah. What's the motion he has to propose? He Bob? would propose a motion to rescind his vote. Yeah. The supermajority provision. Okay, there's a motion to resend the supermajority position. Is there a second? Mr. Clary made the motion? Yes. Yes. I made that motion. Is there a second? Second. And I'm sorry, everybody. That's Roll no call. Once so. again, share, please. This, this is serious. This is serious. 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 Super vote, so this well, is well, serious. 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 Not a problem. Well, yes, vote on Does everyone understand? Do yes. Yeah. Does everyone understand what yeah. you're voting on? Bob, you I'm want to explain what everybody's voting on? Do now. A, okay. a vote in the affirmative, a yes vote on Paul's motion, would be to remove the supermajority provision. The no vote on Paul's motion would be to keep the supermajority provision in. Everybody clear? I'm, I'm clear. confused. Roll call, Sharon, please. I'm confused. Ms. Skatos? Aye. I would think you'd want to vote. Dr. Greesock? Aye. Okay. Mr. Harvey? Aye. Mr. Johns? Me. Yes. Mr. Clary? Wait for it. Just wait. Don't say no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Mr. Duncan? No. Mr. Wilson? No. Okay. Right so that provision is out. Now, that provision is out. But are we still, have the, are we still sev sending articles 7 through 10? That's already been approved. That has that's, been approved. That's been okay. approved. We're not touching that. Okay. Okay. What the hell happened to everybody up here tonight? It's been a long, long night. <laughs> it's been a long day. Four hours. Day long day night. Night. Moving right along. <laughs>